Hello and welcome to this On Shape CAD snippet. We're going to be looking at some of the behavior within the sketcher pertaining to dimensioning. One of the nuances that I've discovered is that depending on what you select, what type of entity you select when placing your dimensions, um, it'll determine whether those dimensions remain intact as entities are modified or or completely deleted and you'll need to start over in your dimensioning scheme. For this example I start out with three rectangles. One was created by uh, as a center point rectangle hence the center and the point there and the other two are corner rectangles. I've added three point arcs in the corners of the first two and this third one will use the fillet command to create the corner round. So the first step is to create our dimensions. We can see up here the type of dimension we're going to add. So if I activate the tool and according to this we want to dimension by line, I'll select the horizontal line. and place the dimension and select the vertical line and place the dimension. Moving to the next one, I will pick the two vertices that belong to the horizontal, place the dimension, and two vertices that are going to represent the vertical dimension. And then over here we're in a dimension by line. Okay, so now keep in mind we've just worked for quite a while, we'll say, and placed a lot of dimensions, and we have the dimensioning scheme that we desire, but then we start trimming away to get rid of um, unnecessary geometry. At that point, we want our dimensions to remain intact, and this example here is helping us to see how, depending on what you've selected, you may or may not lose those hard-earned dimensions. So let's start by modifying this corner rectangle on the right side. We'll select the fillet tool, pick the corner vertice here. I'll go ahead and add to the selection so that we have a top and a bottom. And left mouse button to complete. And then accept the value. And notice the dimensions remain intact. We see a point that resides at the virtual sharp. Now if we move over here and toggle to the trim tool and we remember this dimension was constructed by points so I'll delete that segment and notice we still have the dimension. I'll delete these remaining three segments and we keep our dimensioning scheme virtual sharp points on the virtual sharp have been um, maintained and these points are actually the original end of each of these lines as best I can tell. Now let's move over here this dimension these dimensions were constructed by lines. We're going to trim away in the same manner. And notice what happens. The moment we trim away and break those vertical and horizontal lines into pieces, we lose our dimensions. Now, these points that we are seeing here remained because of the pre-existing constraint from this center point rectangle construction. So if I toggle on show constraints and hover over this midpoint, you'll see that the three points from upper left down to lower right highlight. And then when I hover over the next center point, the three points from lower left to upper right highlight. That's why 
those points remained it was based on the original rectangle now over here as already mentioned the point remains because the dimension was to the vertices and so it kept the vertices and trimmed away the extra material over here the system created vertices based on using the fillet tool so there's a quick look at the behavior when you depending on how you apply your dimensions so the recommendation or best practice would be as much as possible you dimension from point to point and you'll uh, reduce your chances of losing the dimensioning scheme that you've put in place as you continue to refine your geometry in a section. So hopefully this is helpful. And until next time, this is Skill Coach, and keep learning. If you um, appreciate this video and it's helped, give it a like. Feel free to subscribe as I'll be adding new tutorials and skill coach snippets in the future. And also go ahead and select the bell so that you can get notifications when those happen. Till next time.